This is a tachometer and hour meter for a motor vehicle. I don't think it's pretty enough or waterproof enough that you'd want it attach it to your vehicle the whole time, but these are really cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but it was under 15 bucks with free shipping. And uh, you just configure it to fit the, uh, the style of spark that you have, and then you take this wire that's attached to it and just wrap it around one of your spark plug wires. Just make sure you don't get it caught in any of the uh, belts or anything else in the engine. Make sure you secure it down properly, and we'll, we'll try it out here in a minute. Um, you can, the manual that came with it tells you that you just push and hold down this S1 button to set the mode. So there's different modes. There's uh, mode one, two, three, up to four. Now the thing I found out with these instructions is that they're wrong. So mode one, it says the opposite. It, it says spark plug fires twice per revolution, but it really means you have two revolutions per spark plug fire. So that's what you'd want for most cars. Um, and then number two is once per revolution. So that's if you had a Harley. I know they fire once per revolution, so that's what you'd want. And then number three is going to be twice per revolution. So, you know, for a regular car, you'd want mode one. Harley, you'd want mode two. Old Royal Enfield Bullet, you'd want mode one. And then you're on your own with other bikes and cars. Because I'm not sure what your individual vehicle will use. But let's stick it on the car and see what it reads. All right, here's the setup. So I put the hour meter over here in a place where it's not going to get sucked into the engine. And you want to run the wires away from any spinning belts and things. And then I just wrap the end of it around the spark plug wire maybe 10 times and then taped it in place with duct tape. So let's see what the meter reads when I rev it up. There we go. I wish I knew where to grab the rent it up. That's a pretty good look at it, and you can see that it, it's not instantaneous. So whatever RPM you're trying to set, like if you're, if you're setting timing or setting something else, or trying to set your idle speed, you want to give it 10 seconds to catch up with the engine. It's a little bit, a little bit off, but other than that, it's pretty cool.